Boys, today we are talking about a very important thing in MLB The Show 24 right now that is a little bit controversial in the community. And we're going to be talking about the fastest way that you guys can finish the core collection in Diamond Dynasty. Now, this is just my personal experience. And I, for example, I have the core collection a lot higher than I have the set one collection. Now, I'm going to make my own separate set one collection video on how to finish that. But to let you guys know, I am prioritizing right now the core collection over the set one collection. I think that the first collection you should do every single year should be the core collection. There's a lot of really good cards there. I understand that you can get maybe a little bit of a better card, like Willie Mays is really good, but I still think Babe Ruth, best hitter in the game. It's not even close. Best hitter in the game, maxed out stats. So I want to get that card on my squad. And I'm going to be talking about to you guys how I am doing this because obviously it's a stubs game. And I'm going to talk about my strategy, what I'm prioritizing, how I'm getting a ton of stubs, and how I'm making it along the way. But before we get to today's video, make sure that you guys drop a like and a sub as we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. And let's get right into it. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They're offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with quick delivery. If you're interested, please click the link in the description and check out their services. Is use my code Brady for 5% off your purchase. All right, so first things first, we're kind of just going to take a glance over at the market for the live series cards. You can see Shohei Otani going for about 250k, Aaron Judge going for 135, Acuna for almost 200, Mookie is at 140, and Mike Trout is at 260k. Now, whenever you're going through these collections, the number one thing that I want to make sure that you guys are doing is that you guys are putting in buy orders for every single card in this collection. You have to do it. It will save you legit 100, 200,000 stubs throughout the whole thing if you just put in your orders. Just put in your orders. Put in your MLB The Show companion app. Make sure you're doing it that way. It'll make life a lot better and it will save you a ton of stubs. So make sure that you're doing this, okay? So obviously this is a stubs method pretty much, okay? We're just going to be talking about it. All right, so to get this done, you're going to need a crap ton of stubs. And it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight. Usually it takes me about two and a half weeks to three weeks to finish the collection. Sometimes it takes me about a month and a half, depending on how much I'm grinding it. Um, right now I'm in baseball season doing YouTube, just doing a lot of random stuff. So I would guess I'm probably going to get this done in three to four weeks, four weeks, maybe five weeks. Um, there's been years where I've made it and... I, just because I've gone flawless, really, that I've made, I've gotten it done in the first couple weeks, but we're going to be talking about what I'm doing, okay? So this is what I'm going to be doing, all right? First thing I'm going to do whenever I am trying to grind stubs is I am selling almost every imaginable card possible. Now, what I mean is, for example, let's go to the BR program and talk about it. By grinding the whole Battle Royale program, you are going to be making about 80,000 to 90,000 stubs, okay? And so this is going to, the way that I look at it is by grinding this and by grinding the event, I will be able to have Mike Trout pretty much. So it'll be about 90, 140, and I've already got about 70, 80K. So I'll be right at Mike Trout whenever I end up getting this done, okay? I am selling every single BR card for sale now. I'm putting it up. Um, so I'm putting up a buy order, I'm putting up a sell order for it, so not a buy order, a sell order, and so I'm getting, let's say, 78, 90 on this card, okay? That's gonna. Be, you want to make sure you're putting in orders, because I know that it's kind of annoying, and you're kind of just like, well, it doesn't really matter. Well, in the grand scheme of things, you're going to be losing out on literally 200,000 stubs, so make sure that you are doing this, okay? And I am grinding out the BR program, sadly, this year, man. And I know that they changed it towards the end of last year. You used to be able to sell your program pack, all right? And it just kind of stinks that you're not. I'm taking Joe Mauer. I don't even think it's close. I don't know how people are arguing about it. But this used to just be 94K when you finished the BR program. You'd grind the BR program really fast. You would sell the card. And you'd hope that you have one or two good runs in there to where you get 10 wins to where that's a flawless now. And so... I'm kind of just thinking right now that I'm going to grind out this whole thing. I'm going to get my 20 bundle, go to 150. Once I'm done with BR, I'm going straight to events. The events cards are going for a good amount. I mean, 18K and about 15K for the other one. You're going to be getting about 20,000 in packs as well. So 20,000 stubs. Hopefully you pull something from a pack or you pull something from, they give you stub outright cards, which are really nice. So they'll give you stubs and then they'll give you other options like five pa pack, Bond is a habit, which you're going to get a three-piece here, which, I mean, the odds say one in four chance 
uh, it's like one in five chance, I think, for a ball and pack, or is it one in ten? It's either one in five or one in ten. So you should probably have about a 30, 40% chance of pulling a diamond out of this. You're getting 2,000 stubs here, two, five of the show packs here, ball and packs, Grayson, obviously, which you're selling, but you're getting a lot of stubs along the way. So you'll probably make about 40K from here. You're making about 80K from the BR program. And so that puts you about 120,000. And if you're doing that, plus doing a lot of my flipping method that I just made a brand new stubs video about, which I've thought about going in depth in this video on how I make a ton of stubs, and I have a huge stub video. I'm just going to link it, okay? I'm going to link it. I know a lot of people are going to be talking about, because this is a stubs method, that you kind of just want to talk about making a ton of stubs, because obviously that's the greatest thing. But I already went all the, over that in a whole video a couple of days ago. So just look at that video if you want to understand how I get a lot of stubs. I'll link it above and put it towards the end of the video. But without further ado, we're going to talk about some of the other things that I'm doing. First things first, make your do your Sandy program, do your Dylan Cruz program. Those are both really good, and you're getting a lot of packs along the way and a lot of free diamonds. I would say you're probably making about twenty thousand by grinding both of these. I would hope so. So about twenty k. So that puts you about one seventy from grindable options. And then obviously the money maker, how I'm going to be getting collections done is I am going to finish the XP reward path. Okay. So obviously these are no sell cards. Okay. But I think one thing that we can all agree on is whenever we're grinding the XP reward path, if you're wondering how to make XP, I also just made an XP video a couple of days ago, but whenever you're doing this, you're just going to want to get to the end. Now the end is tough. Okay. I understand the end's tough, but once we can get to those reroll packs, of that 90 plus live series card, the chase pack, the headliner, the vault, and stubs, like there's not, the worst thing out of there is the, is the headliner. You're gonna be making a ton of stubs, okay? And I calculated it the other day, I think we can make it here in about 30 days. It's like a little bit less than 30 days. And so I think that because there's the XP cap of 60,000, that whenever I just want to race here, okay. Obviously, we're getting the 99s here, so it's going to be a win win because we're getting three amazing 99s. Um, Larry Walker is going to be an everyday guy for me a long time. Jimmy Rollins, Andy Petit's going to be my ace. I mean, I love this card to death, really, really cool card, and I haven't ever used one of these cards, so I'm really excited about it. But there's a ton to grind, obviously, there's a ton to grind, but I am just going to be racing to the end of the XP War Pass. So I'm doing BR, I'm doing events. And then I'm going to be doing my XP method that I talked about the other day. I'll just be doing that every night, chilling whenever I'm watching baseball, spring training, March Madness right now. But I'm just kind of grinding these out because once you get to the end of these, you're going to be getting 10K stubs. You're going to be getting 7,500 stubs, headliner packs, 5,000 stubs, all sorts of packs. You're getting Kyle Seager. You're going to have a really good team. And it's really just an XP game right now. If you want to understand like this crazy, legit method, uh, you can look at my stubs video. However, you're just probably watching a lot of these videos getting fed a lot of BS. And the truth is, this is what you got to do. BR, events, grind your grindable player programs that you're going to be getting stubs on. Make sure you're putting in buy orders on every single card. And then you can flip for probably about twenty to 30000 an hour right now. I did it last night. I made 25000 I'm an experienced guy. Like I've been flipping for about four to five years just the thing is is i don't know if it's the beginning of the game or there's a lot of people doing it and a lot of people using showzone.io which i made a whole video on but it's kind of really hard to do i'm struggling this year to get this done okay and flipping's really hard um flipping is the hardest i think it's ever been i don't know if other creators are saying the same thing or if they're saying other things but i want to know if you guys are doing well with it because i'm usually i'm able to make 40k an hour uh, just because I have the companion app going on one, and then I am flipping on uh, my Xbox in front of me, and so it's just kind of it's kind of easy. And so I just kind of wanted to talk that out with you. Let me know in the comments if you're struggling with that too. But this is how I'm doing collections and how I'm going to be grinding it is definitely making sure I'm doing my grindable ways first, doing my stubs method and flipping the cards I talked about in those videos and using showzone.io, and then kind of just doing some of those other things. So I hope you guys had a great. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you do enjoy this video and you want to see more like this, make sure that you guys hit that like and sub button. I know a ton of you guys watching this video are not subscribed, like 75% of you guys. So go down, press the red sub button. It would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you boys later, and peace.